First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes baby in a baby carriage, right? <laughs> Not if Tasha has anything to say about it, okay? <laughs> After seven years of marriage, she says she needs at least another five before she's ready. Joining us is someone who has this conversation all the time, OBGYN, Dr. Tice Aliabadi. <laughs> so, can you tell us, like, do you think that where Tasha's wanting to have a baby, 45, 50, is it too old? Is it too late? Yes, Tasha, I need to educate you today. Okay. <laughs> it's important to understand that, you know, we're born with about one to two million eggs. By puberty, we have 300 to 400,000 eggs. And when we hit mid-30s, that number is about 100,000. And by menopause, is about 1,000. So it's not only the quantity that goes down, but the quality is definitely affected too. So someone at age 30 has a very good quality egg compared to someone at age 40. Okay. After 45, the chance of pregnancy with your own eggs, it's not zero because I can't say that, right. but it's mm -hmm. almost zero. So if you think at 45, you're just gonna start thinking about starting a family, it's a huge <laughs> mistake. <laughs> right. Okay, Tasha. All right, so some right. good advice. Okay, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, Tasha and Reggie, please come join me in the circle of truth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Team, what say you, Dr. Judy? First of all, you guys are a great couple. We Thank love you. getting to know great. you. You guys, the love is there, and we wish you all the best. And Tasha, we don't want to pressure you. It really needs to be your decision, of course, yes, when sir. discussing all of this with Reggie. Seems like he's ready, but it's okay if you have your fears. Okay. And I just want to lay those fears a little bit, because maybe you can have it all. Because two women on the stage, Ariva and Rosie, they both have amazing careers, and they have amazing children, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe you can have it all. But I think the most important thing is to communicate without judgment. So you guys need to make a time for regular check-ins about the situation. Discuss your hopes. And then hopefully through these regular check-ins, you guys will come to an agreement soon. Oh. Yeah. Ariva. Tasha, I went through the same thing you went through, trying to decide when I should have my kids. I just graduated from law school, started my legal career, and eventually I decided it was time. And I jumped right in, and Reggie, I had one. I didn't stop at one. I had two. I didn't stop at two. Then I had a third Ooh, one. Okay. <laughs> so trust me, girl, it can be done. You can balance having a family and a great career. But trust me, when you have children, you will find your heart and your soul. Oh, yes, I agree. <laughs> You know, my mom had me when she was 42, and this was eons ago, like centuries ago. And <laughs> <laughs> the problem that I know that she had was when there would be school functions, all the other parents were much younger than she. Okay. And she didn't ever felt like she felt, you know, she fit in mm -hmm. because all of the other moms were younger, much younger than her. Oh. So that's something you need to consider. You know, you want to be on Social Security when your child's, you know, 16 years old and <laughs> playing baseball and football. I mean, think of the social impact that it'll yeah. have in your ability. And I don't know how often you deal with it, you know, with, with being an older parent and, yeah. and dealing and having friends with their, you know, friends, moms and yeah. dads. Rosie. You know, one thing that you should be so grateful for is that you have a husband that yes. only wants a baby, but is willing to support you, Woo! baby. That's long. But with that said, we reached out to Barnsley Resort in a beautiful Addersville, Georgia, and they're gifting you with a romantic three-night couple's vacation with meal credit and massage at their spa. Oh, oh, so whether it's baby making or a passionate weekend, enjoy. Get going. And all I can say to you, I I'm so glad to see a, a, a beautiful couple. Yeah. You know what I mean? That there's love. And girl, you are so lucky to have a man that's like, baby, yes. I don't mind babysitting. Now, we're going to hold you to that. Oh. Okay, we're going to hold you to that. <laughs> but I'll just tell you with me, uh, that ship sailed with me where I wasn't able to have children, and, and I regret it. But the Lord sent me six guy children, so I'm okay. okay. So you got a good man. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Start a family. Why not? I will. All right? I all right. Do. Thank you. We so want to thank much. you all so much for having the courage to face the truth.